Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading SpongeBob SquarePants. Show me the bunny. Knock, knock. Who's there? asked Patrick. It's me, SpongeBob. Guess what? The Easter Bunny is coming tomorrow. Patrick jumped up and down. Oh boy, the Easter Bunny. Is he going to come down the chimney and bring me presents? SpongeBob shook his head. No, Patrick, that's Santa Claus. The Easter Bunny hides eggs and we find them. Patrick ran to his refrigerator and grabbed a carton of eggs. I found the Easter eggs, he shouted. Easter is tomorrow, said SpongeBob. Besides, Easter eggs are painted pretty colors. That night, Patrick hung a stocking above his fireplace and went to bed early. SpongeBob was so excited for Easter that he counted eggs until he fell asleep. Early the next morning, the Easter Bunny arrived and began hiding eggs. He was about to put the first one under Patrick's rock when the noise stirred Patrick out of his deep sleep. Er screamed Patrick. Go away, you big, cute, fluffy monster. The the Easter Bunny was so scared that he swam away without leaving any eggs. Patrick returned to bed, proud of himself for scaring the monster away. Whew. SpongeBob's alarm rang and woke him up. I have to get Patrick. It's time for the, for the egg hunt. Patrick proudly told SpongeBob how he saved Bikini Bottom from being attacked by a giant monster. When Patrick described the monster, SpongeBob said, Oh no, you scared away the Easter Bunny. Patrick began to cry, I ruined Easter. SpongeBob asked Gary what to do. Meow, replied Gary, you are right. I will color eggs and hide them so Patrick's Easter will not be ruined, said SpongeBob. Patrick will, ne Patrick will never know it's me in this Easter Bunny costume, Spongebob said with a giggle. Then he darted around, hiding Easter eggs everywhere. I will put one here, and here, and here, and here, cried Spongebob. Squidward stuck his, stuck his head out of the window and said, Spongebob, what are you doing? I am the Easter Bunny, Spongebob replied. Squidward rolled his eyes. Right, and I am Little Red Riding Hood. You are? asked Spongebob, amazed. No, shouted Squidward. Just be quiet. I am trying to sleep. When Spongebob was done, he knocked on Patrick's rock. Patrick looked outside and cried, Merry Christmas, Easter Bunny. You mean Happy Easter, Patrick, said Spongebob, correcting him. O okay then. Happy Easter, Patrick, repeated Patrick. Never mind, said Spongebob. It's time to get your best friend and go on an egg hunt. Spongebob ran home and took off his costume. Suddenly, Patrick burst in. Spongebob, the Easter Bunny came. I am going to win the Easter hunt, the egg hunt, and I can feel it. It's not a contest, Patrick, said Spongebob. We just find the eggs and then eat them. Patrick ran out of the door. I am going to win, he yelled. Spongebob and Patrick began hunting for Easter eggs. Soon, Spongebob's basket was full, but Patrick couldn't, could not even find the eggs right in front of him. Spongebob secretly put some of his eggs into Patrick's basket. Look, I found some eggs in my basket, cried Patrick happily. Now we both have eggs, said Spongebob. Boy, all this work sure has made me hungry, said Spongebob, said, said Patrick. He then ate all the eggs in his basket. As soon as they were gone, he began to cry. All my eggs are gone. I lost the contest. This is the worst Easter ever. SpongeBob felt sorry for Patrick. You can have some of my eggs, Pat Patrick smiled. Really? Sure, said SpongeBob. 
Patrick took all of SpongeBob's eggs and ran home shouting, I have the most eggs. I win. SpongeBob went home and cried, Gary, I gave all of our eggs away. That means no egg sandwiches, no egg pancakes, and no egg creams. Meow, said Gary sadly. Just then Patrick knocked on the door. Go away, cried SpongeBob. I am not in the mood for company right now, Patrick. You took all my Easter eggs. But I but I brought them back, said Patrick. Thanks for giving them to me, but I do not need them any more. Why not? SpongeBob asked. Because I found the biggest Easter egg ever, said Patrick. SpongeBob looked up at the huge egg. Isn't it beautiful? cried Patrick. I don't think that's an Easter egg, said SpongeBob. Suddenly, the egg began to crack and come out, and out came a giant fish. It began to chase them. Run for your life, yelled SpongeBob. Merry Christmas, Easter fishy, said Patrick, as they ran off into the sunset. What have we learned today, my friends? We have learned from SpongeBob that Easter is fun to spend with family and friends. Have fun today, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.